So welcome back to Teacup. Um, we are playing as Teacup here, and we are looking for tea. We are on the journey for tea. And um, so far, we've had a boat ride, a swimming contest, and had our tarot cards read. So cute, it gets dark in there. Oh! And she goes to bed. That's really sweet. And we just finished uh, with the lighthouse. Getting the cogs for the lighthouse. There we go. Hmm. It's not easy having dreams. I have to deal with my own doubts that itself feels like more than enough. And uh, that is very true. I'm a little artist. I draw in my book. It's so cute. I didn't see a little bear before down there with a lily pad on his head. Where do we have to go next now? I don't really think there's anything left around here for me to get for the tea party. Because they told me to go to the lighthouse for ingredients, so now I have to find out where else we're going. Okay. Mmm, villa. Are they done yet? Okay, so they're still cutting a way through. Salamandro's house? There was that tent that we saw that we couldn't go in. Maybe we can go in now? So pretty. I thought that like tarot reader actually like lives here. What a mysterious looking tent. It seems no one is home though. Oh, okay. I reckon the tarot card reader actually lives here and we just have to wait until she moves or until we have like dialogue that makes them move. Okay, so she's still here. Our friend said that um, they have biscuits for us. There we go. Ah, it's so cute. Hello, are you a raccoon, sir? To do, buy flour, make berry jelly for the mayor. <laughs> I see you found Lind, and what were the cookies for? Oh, a tea party. I'm more of a coffee person myself, but tea does go pretty well with cookies. Oh. Here you are. I already wrapped up the co cookies. Those will go great with tea. <laughs> Take them. L looking forward to tomorrow. Cookies. Oh, it's an actual... It's an actual recipe for cookies. That's adorable. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's so cool. I should make cookies. I should take a photo of this and make cookies. <laughs> My grandma made, used to make these cookies and they were just like shortbread cookies, but she called them Scooby Snacks. And she cut them into little diamonds and put the S and the D on them for like Scooby-Doo. It it's adorable. Um, and we used to go over and we used to help her like make cookies and and cakes. She used to make these cupcakes that would, uh, she cut the top off and fill it with like cream or jam and then cut the little top bit that she cut out into two halves, into wings and put them on top. So they're, they're fairy cakes. They're very cute. I should make those too. Order number 22, croissant. Um, yes. Are you going to finish that croissant? 
Knock yourself out. Special cakes. Pomegranate cake. Ooh. Cookie cream puff. Red velvet Russian roulette cake. Condensed milk cream bread. Sounds like a, a little bit like tres leches, but it's obviously not tres leches. Fresh baguettes. Perfect for fencing. Oh god. Sometimes Tar lets me take home some le leftover cake, so I might bring some of those too. That's nice. Tar, uh, think of him as, hmm, burnt caramel. He might be a bit bitter, but deep down he's still made of sugar. That's sweet. Alright, back to our journey for tea. Where do we go next? so cute they have a little conversation there's our other friend we never went into the rug store it is a rug yeah yeah thought so it had a happy rug fancy designs hello sir you have many beautiful rugs hello Hmm, sorry I can't help you right now. I'm having some trouble. Pencrati? Pencrati? What are you having trouble with? Don't you see the carpets have come alive? I knew there had to be some uh, this had to be some kind of trick. These last ones were really cheap. You're looking for tea? Yeah, I have some jasmine, but right now isn't the best time. I know the magicians. I need your help, frog. I'll give you Jasmine, but first you need to get the magicians and ask them for something to put these rugs down. Sorry. You can find them in a the tent in the... Oh, that's who the tent belongs to. I'd go there myself, but I can't let these carpets escape. I'm counting on you. Oh, okay. All right, I'll, I'll go get them. What's this? I knew plants needed water, but this much? Yeah, a lot of plants actually grow like that. Okay, so the tent actually belongs to the magicians and we have to go get them to help with the haunted carpets. Is it going to just be something like there's a, like a nosy kid up there that's playing a prank or something like that? Or it's like a... a I was going to say mice, but then they'd be people, wouldn't they? <laughs> because we're all... Uh, anthropomorphic animals <laughs> okay so we have to go back to the meadow that's where the where um, the tent is sorry I have a sip of my drink okay It seems as if there's no one inside, but Pencrati told me to look for the magicians here. You call out and hear a voice beckoning you to enter. Oh, there we go. A frog. La Kuvu. La Kuvu. Oh, look, La Kuvu. A frog. Correct, Ventino. Correct, Ventino. Like you. Salutations, little amphibian. Interested in the mysteries of existence, the other world, which uh, is beyond the reach of. Dinnance? Dinnance? 
I don't know what that word means. <laughs> Denence. Oh, did he not? Did, did he? That's science. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she understood. No, I didn't. She said yes. Welcome then. We have a mission for you. Another mission? What mi- Oh, right. The mission. A magnificent mission. You must find the cauldron of life. It looks like a teapot, but it's not. It also works like a teapot, but it's not. <laughs> That's right. The cauldron lies in the darkest nooks and crannies of our tent. Tent. Slander, Lakuvu. I remember the shopkeeper was clearly saying Fent. That was his accent. Nobody in the garage sale spoke our language. Uh, right. Are you cunning enough for this task, little amphibian? I surely am. Well, if you're willing to find the cauldron, there's a list of some other stuff I need you to, to find that I can't. Antinio. What? She already said yes. Go. We'll be waiting here. Alright. Uh, ask you to find all the objects they can't find the mess of their tent. Find all the hidden items displayed on the scroll and select them with the cursor. Okay. So it's a, like a, ah, it's a, a I spy game now. Hmm. There we go, there's a peach. Oh, there's, <laughs> looking straight at it. There's a ball. There's a candlestick. Well, it's a, what are these called? Candle holder? Hmm. Be hard for me. There's a necklace. There you go. There's a teapot. Yeah. Oh, ship in a bottle. Huh. I need the glasses and the letter is left. Ah, there you are. Okay. Um, glasses. Ah! Got him. You picked up the cauldron of life and take it to Lakovu and Vitenio. Vitenio. I'm probably butchering these names. A strange smell emits from the teapot. Em em emanates. Sorry. You feel dizzy. Oh no, we're tripping balls. What is this place? Oh, we most definitely are on a trip. Beware, small amphibian. I like the music. It's cute. It's very Alice in Wonderland, actually. I like it. <laughs> Do you guys just sit in here all day having hallucinogenic tea? Can I join? Look, Lakovu. The frog is here! Unbelievable! Looks like you found the cauldron, little froggy. And it looks like you didn't wash the tea stains again. How many times have I told you? Slander, Lakovu. Falsehood couldn't be further from the truth, you sleazy lizard. But, well, welcome to the dream world. Sorry for the trouble. You must be confused. It wasn't that much trouble. We know about your search, little traveller, please accept our most sincere apologies. Yes, very sincere. This magic powder might be of use to those pesky flying carpets. Oh, thank you. Yes, and take this magic tea. It's what we make uh, in this cauldron. Continue. 
You do know that if you give her that, she'll be able to enter the dream world as she pleases. Leave me alone, Lakoru. I like this from you. Take it! Oh, you have a book? Let, let me show you my amazing drawing skills. It's going to be like a little kid's sketch of a happy little frog. Oh, that's very nice, actually. Look at you. See you on the other side. And we're back. Thank you for your help. Your magnificent contributions have brought balance to the universe. Ah, I can hear it resonating beautifully. And Danielle. How many times have we talked about lying about the universe? Lying? I might be many things, little frog. A frog, a wizard, a sorcerer, a frog, but not a liar. <laughs> Trust me when I say your future is res resonating brightly. Well, it seems like a nice town. We should set up a summer tent here. Be nice. Grandiose. I'll connect the tent to the others. See you around. Good luck stopping those flying rugs. What if they're just magic carpets? Wouldn't you get a good business if you had magic carpets and that's what you sold? Do you have to feed a magic carpet? I don't think you do. Maybe they eat dust mites. Or ants. I'm back. I got something to stop those rugs. Wonderful, you talk to the magicians? A magic powder, I see. Now we just need to spread it on all the carpets. Please help me with that, and the jasmine is yours. Alright, anything for tea. Stop the flying carpets inside Pankrati's store. Aim the cursor at the carpets and throw magic powder. Okay. In. Ooh. Okay. Eh? 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 Eh. It has to reload. Okay, the crosshair has a thing around it. Okay, okay, okay. Get you. There you go. Get you! It reloads, but then it doesn't let you throw it. After it reloads, there's like a tiny cooldown. There's another one. Ah, two for two. These are really pretty. Gotcha. Another one. Ah. Aha! There we go. There. Oh, that was all? Okay. Got him for you, sir. Give me my jasmine tea. Beautiful. Now I can continue working in peace. Thank you very much. I think I forgot to ask your name. Teacup? It's lovely to meet you. Here's your jasmine. Come whenever you want um, or need some more. <laughs> uh, Jasmine is a climbing plant that grows in temperate climates. This tea is not considered herbal, but rather as uh, aromic. There's a difference between jasmine teas according to the tea that you use as a base. Green tea, white tea, black tea, or oolong tea. To prepare it, the leaves are harvested in the early summer and stored until the jasmine flowers bloom. When this happens, the tea leaves are flavoured with the jasmine flowers. Another method is to boil the tea of your choice along with said flowers. The taste is sweet and very subtle. It can reduce headaches or muscle aches. It's nice to know. I didn't know that jasmine tea could do that. Since you're running around town, can you? Uh, can I ask for a small favour? If you run into the Raccoon Brothers, can you tell them the new shipment of wool just came in? They look intimidating, but they're the sweetest guys I know. Last thing I heard, they were in the forest. Thanks. Oh, okay. Wait, so does that just mean your your rugs were possessed? 